Hello, thank you for coming to my video today, guys. Uh, today's a good day. It's the week after the friends and family test net has started. And uh, what this video is going to be is it's going to be like a little weekly update. Uh, what's been going on in the friends and family. Also kind of what's been going on in the Cardano ecosystem. Just a little bit of that, but mostly friends and family update. Um, this, this series might evolve into a weekly Cardano update if there's enough information and the series does get enough support. Um, this video is kind of for stake pool operators and people that just hold ADA. My stake pool operator videos are just for people that want to get a node up and running and start tinkering with stuff. Uh, you guys can check out those other videos on my channel. I like them. I like making them. Um, so and then in this video, what kind of like an outline of what I'm going to be going over today is I'm going to be answering questions uh, to myself, uh, to you guys, like about my own experience in the friends and family test net. I'm also going to be giving you some anecdotal experience from other people in the test net, so you're not just hearing from me. Uh, the questions that I'm going to answer personally is, uh, what do I think of the friends and family test net? Have I noticed anything game breaking? Uh, I play a lot of video games, so that's kind of like I used to. Uh, it's just like, if, is there anything like just completely ruining the experience? I'm going to answer that. Uh, what is the value of pledge currently? What is the pledge mechanic? The A not value. Um, is creating a node hard? Uh, is it, can anyone can, can anyone do it? Uh, do, you, do you need to be tech savvy? Uh, and then also, is it easier or harder to build a node in the ITN or is it harder in the Haskell test net, the HTN? Um, those are the questions I'm going to be answering today. And then I'm also going to be going over um, what the developers have done this week, what they've accomplished, they've been releasing that. And I want to show you guys that. I might not mention that every week, but I wanted to at least show it the first week. Um, before we start the video, if you guys want to support me, uh, I'm, a, I'm kind of a broke boy right now. I was supposed to have a job, but I didn't get it, so I've been making videos, and maybe uh, the stars have aligned. Also, the I asked you guys, could we get 2 million in the last video? Can we get 2 million live stake? And we did it. We actually are at almost at 4 million. We're at 3.99. We have a 13.08% ROI. Um, so my, my next question is, can we get to 5 million? Can we? <laughs> but I just wanted to say thank you. Either way, I'm really happy about it. Um, 2 million was my goal originally because that means everything's paid for. And then now at 4 million, um, the longer the longer I'm at 4 million, the longer that I can pay for my pool because I kind of kind of just take this money into a fund and then put it in for server costs. So the longer I'm at 4 million, it's almost like I'm paying for two days of servers every day, which is really cool. I'm really happy about that. Um, you guys can also donate to my, uh, my, my data list address. I have that down below. I have Bitcoin, even though I don't ever use Bitcoin. Um, I also take bat and then, um, if you guys just like, and share this video or retweet it. And then also my Twitter, I've been actually really active on Twitter about, especially for people that delegate to my pool and then also uh, new videos and stuff that's coming out. I always tell you guys uh, when everything's coming, but I've spent too long on this. I'm going to jump right into the video. So this link right here is a status update. Uh, it's just from all the development teams of what's been going on, what they've been accomplishing. Uh, this link will be in the description down below. I think it's really cool uh, to understand like what the devs have been doing. And then um, I'm kind of just going to give you guys a little glimpse. So, so the wallet team, they released Daedalus 1.1.0, as well as a new wallet recovery phrase verification feature for Daedalus on the ITN. Uh, the Adestria team, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, working on support for exchanges to help them move over to a new code base more easily. Uh, like this is kind of like for Shelly, they're working on um, uh, just tools for exchanges to move over. Uh, they're also creating a metadata aggregation server to replace the Cardano Foundation's registry for stake pool meta metadata. And then um, Charles also tweeted this. I want to show you guys this uh, six minute wallet restoration. God, I love the, the Adestria team. It's pretty cool. Six minutes. It's pretty quick. Blockchain's pretty big. Uh, so networking. This week, the networking team has been working on Shelly CLI tools and the key evolving signatures, the KES implementation. They simplified the handshake negotiation interface, uh, reviewed the new multiplexing impl implementation, and then had design discussions about the connection manager before implementing the results. Uh, and then the DevOps team. The DevOps team this week, the DevOps team supported the launch of the friends and family test net, as well as working with developers and QA to test the command line parameters and operational procedures required by pool operators. 
so for Cardano decentralization team, uh, this week the team spent some time updating their tools and benchmarking to set up to reflect recent changes to the APIs. They'll soon be integrating these tools into the Cardano Haskell repository to future-proof against incompatibility. And then finally, the Gojin team. I'm going to go ahead and read this whole thing. This is really cool. I'm really, really excited about Gojin, like almost as much as I am for Shelly. Like they're equal to me. Uh, this week, the Plutus team has upgraded the latest PureScript package set and tested that communication is running smoothly. The team has also worked on how to handle contract events and smart contract backend SBC or SCB and specifically how to handle all requests that are issued by contracts as well as how to manage the state of contract instances. They've also made updates to the bulletin section of the technical report and added a visual diagram. And then the Marlowe team made various layout implementations to the Marlowe playground this week. Uh, these include a set of fixes to stabilize icons and the, re the repositioning of buttons to increase visibility improvements to the display of the transaction composer, toggling the gist buttons when panels are contracted, prioritizing the display to blockly button as well as generalized or general sizing changes to panels uh, to improve the readability. Last but not least, the team added a hover box with simple help text to explain Marlowe constructors. Um, th I just, I kind of wanted to go over this. I'm not going to do it every week. I just think it's really cool. Uh, the devs are always doing stuff. There's so much happening in Cardano. Uh, you guys should check this out every week on the weekly development report. I may just do um, like little snippets next time. But now we're going to go on to the other things I want to show you guys. So Umed, he's, a, um, he's, he's someone in the friends and family test net as well. Um, and this is kind of his opinion on it. And he wanted to show his, the dashboard he created. So he said, uh, our Haskell relay node has been running nonstop for almost four days. And then they're, they're preparing uh, their node for the next challenge this week, the block production. And that's what's going to happen this week. Uh, but I'm going to get into that in a second. I just want to show you guys his dashboard that he made. And then uh, you guys can also download this from GitHub right here. You'll just have to change for your own settings. I, I may do a video on uh, getting this running because that is really awesome. Uh, Umed. Very cool. And then um, the Cardinians, uh, these are the people who made Ada Pools. So obviously they're, they're amazing. And they say, stability and the speed of hashtag blockchain synchronization of the Cardano Haskell node is astonishing. Really a great experience. The community will love it. It is pretty astonishing. And then finally, I had one last thing from Aiden Northpool. Uh, I asked him directly. He said, my opinion is the code and document documentation already looks quite well. A lot of functionality in Cardano node and Cardano CLI. Sure, still things need to improve, but overall, off to a good start. And he said, you can quote me on that. Hey. Um, so that's the opinions from everyone else. Uh, right, real quick, before I give you my opinions, I'm going to go over what we did this week. So we actually had two exercises. The first exercise, I, I made videos on most of it, except for the uh, EKG stuff and the monitoring. Um, it's pretty much just getting your node connected, uh, teaching you about like the config files, uh, connecting to the friends and family test net. Um, let me go to, and then also I wanted to show you guys the exercise one guide they released. Uh, this is pretty cool. It's kind of just a one guide. You don't have to go to multiple things to do it, but it's just, it's one guide on it. And then I think it's in the IOHK documentation. It's just like a quick guide for, yep, quick guide for exercise one. This is really cool. It's just all of it in one guide and it's really quick and then they don't go over the EKG monitoring and the Prometheus monitoring like I mentioned. So this is exercise one. It's getting your node up and running, connecting to all of your peers, and then also uh, creating a wallet and then sending and receiving transactions. And that's kind of what exercise two is as well, is just um, creating and receiving transactions between other people. Um, so that's what we did for week one. Uh, they got all of us set up. They helped us out. Uh, we have a Telegram channel where we all talk and kind of help each other out. And then a lot of the people um, kind of went through it quickly while some people like me and like uh, Digital Fortress, we kind of spent and took our time like really just doing the things over and over again because I wanted to make YouTube videos about it. Um, so we really just spent a lot of our time with exercise one before we jumped into exercise two while some people got both of them done in a day. Um, so exercise three is going to be coming out probably today or tomorrow. It's going to be actually creating a stake pool. It's going to be actually connecting to the network, producing blocks, 
Um, I'm really excited for it. That's what's going to be coming this week. I'm going to be having videos coming out about it. I'm going to tell you how it went next Monday in this video. It's going to be the same thing every Monday. Uh, I want to keep like a regular schedule to keep people coming back. I would love to hear your guys' uh, feedback on this, on this video in particular. Um, and then now, finally, we're going to go into what do I think of the friends and family. Um, so I'll answer the questions that I mentioned first. Um, so, so far, I've been having a lot of fun. Um, and to some people, they would think it's weird that I really enjoy this stuff, but uh, it's, it's just so fun. It's so fun looking at... Uh, and using the software that, that they created. And it's also like, I'm very passionate about cryptocurrency. So I'm having a great time. Um, and then my next question was, have I noticed anything game breaking? Uh, no, I haven't. Um, I, I've ran into a couple errors, but the errors were always not really with the code. It was more with the documentation. Uh, the documentation is really good, but because stuff is constantly updating, uh, it's just, it's easy for there to be uh, discrepancy between the documentation and the, between like the um, the commands you're going to run, but that's that's really the issues that I've run into is just with the documentation, not with the code, um, and then also just your normal like oh this thing in Linux that you forgot about, you know. Um, so no, nothing is game breaking so far. What is the value of pledge currently? What is the A not value? Uh, the A not value is currently at ten, which is ten percent. So. To, for people that didn't watch my pledge video, if you want a better description of what's going on, watch that. Um, but what it is, is it's the percentage that people had an advantage over your pool. So say you're at minimum pledge, uh, that means you're going to be making 90%, and then you're at maximum pledge, uh, which there is no max, there is no min, but I'm just giving you like an arbitrary, the bottom and the top. Uh, the top is going to be making 10% more with the current value set at 10 it's just the percentage more that the pool makes for having the max pledge versus the min pledge, even though they're stating that there is going to be no min max. It's going to be variable, but just for my explanation, uh, the, it's, it's at 10% right now. Um, do we know if this is where it's going to be? No, we don't. Uh, I, I honestly would like 10%. 10% seems reasonable to me. If you have no money and you're only at a 10% disadvantage, it doesn't seem that bad to me. It, it really doesn't. If that if the network's actually secure with 10%, I'd, I'd be happy. It'd be cool to make it lower. Um, it would worry me a little bit if it increased, and we definitely are going to be increasing it to test out the uh, network stability and everything. But the base set is 10%. I think that's important information. Um, is creating the node hard? Uh, I I really don't think so. Uh, it's I have a couple videos on it. It's it's pretty straightforward. The documentation is really well done, and and that's kind of what makes something easier hard is the documentation. I like the commands you have to run. Um, but no, I, I, I don't really think it's that hard. Uh, you guys can check out my video if you want to know how to do that. And then the last question I wrote down, is it easier or harder to build a node in the ITN versus the Haskell, the Haskell testnet? Um, to me, it, the, the Haskell testnet seems a little bit easier, but I also have a lot more experience after building the... Um, incentivized testnet node. It's pretty similar. A lot of the commands are similar, but it's it's also different in its own way. It seems smoother. It seems smoother and faster, uh, but we haven't really put the network load on it. We haven't started producing blocks, so it's it's hard to say right now. Like if you are, if you're expecting me to tell, tell you whether or not uh, your bags are gonna go to a million dollars in a couple months because of this beautiful code, uh, I can't give you that answer. It's, we haven't had enough testing. Um, it's just, it, it does seem smoother and faster. I, I do seem to like it more than the Rust code. It seems a lot nicer. But then again, we're only a weekend. They're still working on everything. They're still updating the uh, CLI commands. They're still, it's just everything is going to change. Everything is subject, subject to change. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, if I missed anything, feel free to comment down below. Maybe next week I might post on Twitter, uh, do a little Q&A and say what uh, questions you guys want me to answer about my experience. And then I can do that in this video next week on Monday. Uh, the release window is probably going to be 12 to 3. That's my normal release window. I don't like to do any later than that. But if you guys would share this on Twitter or share it around or leave it a like or comment down below, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I, I've been getting a lot of support lately and it, it really means a lot. It's been making quarantine a lot better and it's been helping with like just the fact that I, I was supposed to have a job, you know, so it's like 
it, you get a little stir crazy when you're stuck inside all day. And it, it's almost like I'm not stir crazy anymore, you know, just from all the support and then having something to do. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. A lot's coming soon. A new steak pool operator video out tomorrow at the latest the day after, depending on um, what's going to happen, what's coming out today. But yep, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, like I said. Goodbye.